season. Please welcome the driver of the number 24 drive to end hunger Chevrolet, Jeff Gordon. Come on out, Jeff. Right. Uh, the first thing I'd like to do is I, I just want to thank Jeff publicly for all that he's done for me personally, for uh, NASCAR, for Hendrick Motorsports. Uh, we all owe him so much. I mean, all of the drivers that have come into the sport that weren't born in the southeast, that didn't drive late model cars, especially the guys from Open Wheel. Uh, have to thank Jeff for what he's done. He has been uh, like a member of my family, and uh, I, I just, I, I hated to even think about this day would ever come. And I'm a pretty good car salesman, and I talked him into a couple of extra years anyway, but I, I ran out of I ran out of lines, and it's, it, it had to come to be. You, know, you never know what, uh, when that day comes, what, what how you're gonna, uh, you know, be affected by it and, and it definitely uh, you know so I, I feel like I'm a, the type of person that I keep a lot of things inside until that moment hits me and, and we've probably seen that in the past of me whether it's given a, a speech at the banquet for a championship or uh, a big win uh, and this this one uh, oh my gosh I was overwhelmed that 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 day that that came uh, you know I, I thought oh no problem I'm gonna go and tell the team and you know tell the media and oh this, this is gonna be a, a, a nice easy day well it was anything but I'm very proud and in, 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 in you know what I've accomplished but I'm also really excited about that next state uh, step in life and in things that that are ahead so I feel like I accomplished everything I ever set out to do and more uh, yeah would I like to win another Daytona 500 would I like to win another uh, uh, you know, championship of course but I don't have to um, to be able to walk away and still be completely content they say that until they see how well Chase Elliott does in that car, and then they're gonna be like, "Yeah, we knew it." You know, um, I think that um, it was definitely talked about. Of course, it was talked about. Um, and Rick Hendrick threw out, you know, he wanted to retire it, you know, that, that number for maybe one year or a certain period of time, or, or I don't, you know, you never know what NASCAR allows on all those things. But he definitely threw that idea out to me, and I said no. I, I said, you know what? I love the number 24. I want to see the 24 go on to, to, to do great things. Um, and and I did say, now if Chase was really adamant, or Bill and Chase, you know, and Cindy all, all felt like that another number was more suited, then, then I was open to it. But um, I think that our fans want to see the 24 car continue on with the right person and, 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 and be successful with the right guy. And he's the right guy.